Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I would like to share with you a very important secret regarding any notary, any accountant, any lawyer advocate in Italy and basically in all European countries. I really please ask you to watch this video entirely at least once because these things nobody gonna tell you. There is no other information in Italy about this. So the thing is that every time you gonna work with a professional in Italy, accountant, lawyer or notary, those professionals, as you probably know, as you probably absolutely convinced it and think, they have to keep total confidentiality regarding every information you have been providing to this professional. That's right. That's what I absolutely think. It's the major obligation for me as a lawyer. So I never did a declaration or a denunciation or a report regarding an unusual request that I received from a client because I really think and believe that my obligation of being secret and of confidentiality to the client is major and is superior to my obligation to communicate to organ eventual non-standard operation. But actually the thing and the reality is completely different. And when you're gonna work with notaries, public notaries, they have a specific list of index of indicators that might bring them to sue you to report you to the relevant tax authorities or fiscal authorities or fiscal police or guardia di finanza, etc. So this information is really, really secret. I would like to share with you because this problem can be solved if you know this list of parameters of index that might bring to the communication. So this obligation, as you probably know, is mandatory for every professional. Of course, not the plumber, which is also a professional, which is inscribed to a register, not the plumber have to communicate if your, your pipe is working or not. That's not the point. But for example, you probably know also from your country that if you go to a hospital with a ruin of an arm weapon, this doctor, this medic have to communicate to the police there is that a wound and a damage from an arm weapon. The same thing in a different way applies to every professional that works with legal departments, with legal documents, etc. So if you know this list of nine parameters, nine index that can bring to your report, to your case being reported to the tax authority, you can avoid many, many problems in the future years. As you know, many of yours have been already working with me. I'm the type of professional that usually do not advise my client to communicate and to disclose their bank account abroad if they not really use it in Italy. But this theory can be broken if you mislead or misunderstood or you didn't apply, you didn't match to these criteria that can lead the notary to report your case to the relevant authorities. Today I'm gonna read this list with you. We're gonna try to understand it deeply. We're gonna try to make some consideration of it. This list of index, of anomaly, of strange aspects of every deal was decided by the notary organization in Rome is an obligatory and mandatory application and checklist for every notary public that stipulates any act regarding anything in Italy. Let's go through it. Let's see if those parameters can be avoided or can be in some way solved. The first thing that every notary will evaluate is the behavior of the client. What does it mean? It means that if you're gonna apply and request the services of the notary with particular urgency then can be considered as not normal behavior of a client. If you ask strange type of operations, for example, you ask to divide a payment in 10 transactions in 10 notary deeds, that might be considered as a not normal, as a strange behavior of a client. Not knowing the language and avoiding the usage of an uh, interpreter, doing a very important real estate deed without an agent, real estate agent, which sometimes is used, might be considered as a not standard or abnormal or strange behavior of the client. So the behavior in front of a client is very important. You probably think, okay guys, how can David I avoid to be reported on this point? Well, the answer is very simple. Go to a lawyer that can advise and put on his shoulders the communication with the notary. This will simplify and clarify the operation. When your case is presented to another professional by a lawyer in the middle that is a filter, believe me, your behavior your case will be always evaluated correctly. If it's yourself looking for a notary without even knowing the Italian language, for example, that may consider a strange behavior of compliance. And the checklist will be already checked in the first point. You do not want this to happen. Second point, geography and provenience. So if you are a Russian client or Iranian client and today you are under sanction, 
Unfortunately, by doing a notary deed, the notary will have to report you. This list specifically reports the word blacklist. So if you have funds and you're providing from blacklist countries, those countries that do not share usual information with other countries, those are usually fiscal paradise such as BVI, Seychelles, Cyprus, Malta, Monaco in some way, Dubai, many years ago it was. So those type of jurisdictions that are difficult to verify, are difficult to check, where the Chamber of Commerce, they are not public, so you cannot obtain the information regarding the shareholders of a company, etc. Those countries and those provisions for the notary will be an automatically arrow on the second point of the checklist. Third point is the request of non-usual performances, non-usual services by the notary. For example, a notary has to stipulate a real estate buy, sell, purchase agreement. If you ask the notary just to transfer money without any notary deed, that's an unusual request to a notary. So a notary might tell you, yes, okay, let's do it, but that will be an automatic report and the check of the third point of the checklist. Fourth point, unreasonable or irrationality of the operation. So if your deal is unreasonable, unrational, it doesn't make any sense. You are selling something for nothing. You're changing the real estate without any profit or benefit. We can make hours of examples here. This checkpoint can be arrowed. So you have to be very, very careful to, again, go to a real estate agent or to an advocate, a lawyer, to propose and to offer, to explain the operation you want to do to the notary in order to avoid that this notary will check the fourth point. Fifth point. This fifth point is basically not avoidable. So the notary have to check if there are any criminal proceedings connected to the operation. Well, if there are, there are. If there are not, there are not. There is nothing to say about this. But you have to be careful because sometimes you might find some real estate offers by auction sale of for example, again, real estate, which are provening maybe from a confiscation or sort of provenience from criminal proceedings, etc. So if you are into this type of sale purchase agreements, you have to be careful because this is an automatically check and arrow on this checklist. Sixth point. This is a very common point uh, by my talking with our notaries, which are in confidentiality with us. They said that they many times report this six point. Incompatibility, non-compatibility of the economical profile of the client with the operation they're doing. So for example, if you are purchasing a real estate of half a million and you are saying in your field of professions that you are a housekeeper, well, that might be considering not an example proportion or compatibility between your profession and what you are buying. Of course, if you are a housewife and recently your husband passed away, you received a consistent amount of inheritance, that's a completely different stuff. So you have a demonstration of the provenience of the source of fund. That's not a problem. But if you are not able to explain the compatibility of what type of operation you're doing with the economical profile that describe yourself, well, that might be a counter sense in this way and the notary might check these six points. So you have to be very, very careful. Seventh point of the checklist. If the payments are provided from person or third parties that are not connected in any way with the deal. So very careful with this because in our operation, it happened very, very times that maybe the mom or the dad buys the house or the real estate or the car for the daughter or for the son. That's a normal type of operation. That's absolutely understandable. But if you will be buying a real estate, purchasing real estate, the provision and the source of funds will be not from you, not for your parents and not from a company connected to you. That's absolutely regular and understandable. So it will be a third person which not connect with you in any way. Well, that might trigger, be very, very careful, a verification and a checklist on this beautiful seventh point of it. Eighth point is connected more to corporate operation at the notary. So if you're creating an LTD company in Italy, every country can create an LTD company in Italy, be the shareholders and director. But if you provide maybe in a shareholders agreement that there are some specific connections or there are some other specific rights which are not really understandable, or if you delegate a person that is not in any way able to keep this business. You know, everybody, if you probably understand if they are and been working in real estate, that it's common practice to nominate a 
nominee director or a nominee shareholder in order him to be responsible in the future for this. That's a normal common practice in our law field, which every lawyer, accountant and notary probably understands. But be careful because if you are appointing a person which doesn't even appear to be able to manage this type of company, be sure that the notary can communicate this to the tax authority in Italy because this profession will be just keep apart your responsibility without keeping it. Ninth and last point is the sell or purchase of any goods with a not equivalent economical fair price. So if you're selling or buy something too low or too high, that's nine point and automatically check an arrow mark on the list because this operation will consider as not normal. Those nine parameters are very, very important. I strongly recommend you to advise this video to any professional, especially that works in Italy. If I might ask you, please a like and subscribe to my channel it will be very, very helpful. If you have any questions regarding those points or if you need assistance in any notary deed you might want to do in Italy, please do not hesitate to contact me or here below or just to write me directly straightforward to my WhatsApp, which you will see in the description of this video. Thank you so much for the view. Subscribe to the, our channel for new videos. Thank you.